What I'm about to do is to extend calm to this little budgerigar, um, bringing calm, peace, love, and then as part of its health check, I want to do a what's called a crop wash, where I pass a crop tube, which is one of these things, and I've got some about a mil of water for injection in here, and we're going to pass this tube down the birdie's throat, down the from the left hand side across to the right hand side. The esophagus comes down the right side of the neck. We're going to gently ease that down to the crop, which is a pouch in the throat at the base of the neck before it enters into the chest and passes over the heart into the stomachs. So that's what we're going to do and then we're going to put in the water, flush it around a couple of times and then get a sample out and put it under the microscope. So here goes. So extending love and peace and calm. First step. Just bringing over and just saying hi, aren't you beautiful? Right, just quietly. Right, keeping love, peace, calm, flowing. I know, but beautiful. Yeah, I know. All right. Now, at this stage, I'm changing my uh, my grip, and I'm starting to position the little battery gar so that I've got full control of the head and neck because I want to keep the neck straight and the head straight. So I'm still extending love and all that sort of business to her, but I'm having to hold her more firmly. So I've got a head rotated back. And I've got it secured between thumb and so forth. I'm putting the end of the, the syringe, the tube, over the, over the tongue. When she puts the tongue forward, I line it up with the neck. And then just easing. There's no force here. Just sliding without force. I can feel the end of the, the needle there. So I can push there and you can see the syringe going back up. All right. So I know I'm in the right spot. Syringing in the water with the body upright. This is not comfortable for her, but I'll just do it as quickly as I can. And we're just flushing back and forth, and hopefully we'll get a small sample here. Just quietly. There we are. Right, we're getting some goo back out of her throat. So we can now take the tube out. And at this stage, rather than just dumping her back in the cage, if you couldn't care less, it's a good time for some TLC again. So always handle our little friends they're sentient beings, they're embodiments of love, the same as we are. And just giving her some more Tellington touch. Some more love and TLC. And this way we don't make an enemy of our friend. It's the same principle as you do with puppies. You have to do something nasty, follow it immediately by something nice and take a little bit longer with something nice than for something nasty. Right. There we is and there she is and we've re-established trust immediately. Alright? Very, very important. Particularly when you're taming a budge you go in the first stages. If you want to have a little budgie that can sit on your shoulder and come to you when it's called, play around and just be a delight. That's the way to go.